What's up, peeps, and welcome back to the Lionel Beast Show. If it's your first time tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. And if y'all are not receiving my brand new upload notifications, make sure you go to my channel where it says subscribe and change the bell to all instead of personalized. Also, make sure you don't forget to follow me on Instagram at official Lionel B and follow my other YouTube channel, Lionel B Unleashed. Now, many fans were appalled by controversial artist Little Nas X swapping post pandemic spit with his significant other while on stage at the BET Awards, where he quickly faced backlash as well as love by fans and industry mogul Diddy. Now, the Diddy part didn't come as a shock. Many fans applauded Little Nas for living in his truth after he revealed to the public shortly after the success of Old Town Road that he was not a straight male. He received harsh criticism for his song and music video where he displayed imagery of giving the devil a lap dance. He then used another opportunity to go even harder and let the fans know he was super serious by taking the stage at the BT Awards and kissing a male. Now that sent Twitter into a spiral and thousands of people felt that it was inappropriate and wanted to cancel him. Now Little Nas X went on record, he said, it took me a lot of time to mentally prepare for this performance. While on stage, I was trembling knowing that I was performing something like that in front of my straight peers. Even during the performance, I was having a hard time calming my nerves. Thank you guys for the love. In chimes in another attention seeking artist, Marcus the Stallion, aka Megan, when she got the opportunity to cozy up to the city girls young Miami and decided to do this. Now, Megan Thee Stallion then doubles down on her actual kiss and goes on record letting people know she actually wants to date young Miami. <laughs> Real lesbian shit. Lesbian winter? Real scissor shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, some fans definitely wasn't feeling the double standard as fans immediately chimed in. They said, oh, but it's okay for them to kiss. Somebody else says, laugh my A off. Yeah, her and party not going to last. She don't know how to respect a relationship. Somebody else says, but it's nasty and too much when little Nas do it. Okay. Another user comes in and says, glorify this, but condemn little Nas. I don't get it. The next one says, listen, we are all hypocrites when little Nas X did it. Somebody else said, Meg giving me a messy vibe. She do a bit too much. Then somebody says, Megan, I like you in all, but please. Somebody else says, the world is confusing. They didn't stop there. They said, we all know who gonna be using the strap. Somebody else says, anything for attention shaking my head. Somebody, Lauren says, but when Little Nas X does it for real, it's a problem. And then somebody else goes in on Megan's drinking addiction. She says, when Meg off that liquor, man. <laughs> real lesbian shit. Real scissor shit. <laughs> now at this point, everybody's kind of asking like, where was Party at during the whole entire thing? Maybe Party's actually into it. Maybe that's something they enjoy doing. I mean, who knows, but at this point, I kind of feel like Megan Thee Stallion is kind of, of course, doing the clout chase, man. Y'all already know she's a major clout chaser, so, I mean, you know, definitely not surprised by that at all. But the crazy thing about it is, is that Young Miami and Megan Thee Stallion used to have beef. They used to be clapping at each other, and I guess now they're trying to make amends. Y'all check this out. Now, as the old folks say, man, if you're gonna pick a side, you might as well state it. It looks like Megan Thee Stallion and Young Miami from City Girls, man, are getting into it on Instagram. Now, man, basically, it all started with Megan Thee Stallion. She actually did, like, a little fake interview with Wiz Khalifa. And Megan basically made Wiz say that it was a hot boy summer. And then she made the rapper say that the hot boys are up. 
and that some of the city boys are done. Now, most of y'all may be listening to this like, what the hell does that even mean, Lionel B? Like, the hot boys and the, the city boys, like, what the hell is they even talking about? So, everybody know, man, like, you know, with the city girls, they got their own little thing going on with the city boys. Like, the boys they like, they call them the city boys. And that they, I guess they're supposed to be, like, the flies little dudes around. And with Megan, man, you know, the dude she liked, she called them the hot boys. And, you know, the hot girls and things like that. So, apparently, man, it was a direct shot. At Young Miami, and it caused Young Miami to flip her damn lid. So I know y'all, a lot of y'all can see, like, okay, yeah, that was definitely some some stuff to get up under her skin, man. It wasn't even right, but you know, it's drama, it's negative, catty stuff, man. That goes down. Now the crazy thing is, man, Megan actually put the video up and she streamed it to her millions of fans. What you said? I said the hot girls is up, my nigga. You a what? Hot boy. A I'm motherfucking hot boy. <laughs> <laughs> Who up though? Who up though? Who up though? Hot girls, up, hot girls is up. Summer, city boys. <laughs> you're done. You're done. Now everybody was saying, man, like, yo, that is definitely foul, man. She's taking shots at Young Miami. Now, Young Miami, man, she's definitely no stranger to beef, and she's definitely not one to keep quiet for any reason. So immediately, man, she comes right back on the gram, man, posting on her storyline. And she lashes out, man, saying so much flaw shit going on. Bees be showing fake love and being shady at the same time. LOL. Just saying. It's going to take about two and a half city girls to take down Megan Thee Stallion. Because she pretty much Amazon status and she got hella reach. It might just gallop all over young Miami's ass. Now the brawl gonna look like Spud Webb taking a swing at Kareem Aldo. It just won't connect. Now unless she gets her producer baby daddy from 808 Mafia that loves to clap and yell at females like he is one of the original city girls, she may have half a chance. But I'm pretty sure Megan will slap the diamonds out his mouth with ease. You rap hoes be lame and fuck. Bitch, you feeling yourself. Stop feeling yourself. Nah, I don't go with that hoe no more. I don't fuck with that hoe. I'm good. I'm all the way boo. I don't I'm boo on it. I be in LA tomorrow. First jet out this motherfucker. I be in LA tomorrow. Fuck you, somebody. Come on, you single. Bitch, nobody give a fuck that you single. Who cares? Nobody's gonna wipe you, sweetie. At all. They see what you really look like without your wig on and shit. They're not gonna wanna fuck with you. Oh, no, she, cause she jumped on live and said she's single. And all that. So don't trip. No, I ain't trip. Yeah, baby shower on the way. Say no more. Fuck that back She paying for that weak ass. She paying for that weak ass. That shit made me sick anyway. That weak ass shit. My vacation that cost a whole hundred pounds. That's how we get out. Stop playing with me. I'm going to show y'all my vacation. Fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> On another note though, they both seem to be putting out great music and being that Young Miami is expecting, we definitely don't want no smoke or ruffle the feathers for the new Young City baby. Now Megan proved that she got bars in the game and made Cardi B rethink her whole approach. Next time she wants to fake pen a song and win a Writer of the Year award. Now Megan Thee Stallion man definitely proved that she is definitely not taking no L's in this game man and she is not taking no disrespect. Now recently man she actually traveled to the UK and appeared on Capital Extra Radio in London to discuss her music and her new trendsetting waves. Now after doing all this man to put herself in the position she basically had to field questions man about her beauty decisions. Now basically Westwood went and he said, man, your hair looks amazing, wig or weave. Now Westwood, man, thought he was asking like an honest question, you know what I'm saying? But definitely that shade, man. You don't ask no African-American woman no question like that. Especially if you're not of the same color, man. You, you setting yourself up for failure, bro. Now basically she came right back. She said, um, not your business. And he like, oh, for real? Are you serious? You know what I'm saying? He basically says, like, in a way, like, in a little playful manner. And he's like, you do not ask ladies what they got going on. 
Now things got even more crazy when Westwood tried to justify his question by explaining that he just enjoys taking care of the women in his life. He basically went on to say nails, shoes, bags, sometimes rent. Not yet, but one day it will be T and A, and I have to pay for that. Megan remained real classy, and she broke it all the way down. You just worry about the funds. You just worry about the funding part. You don't go worry about how it got done. So it definitely wasn't always good between Megan Thee Stallion and Young Miami. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. How y'all feel about this double standards? How do y'all feel about people canceling Little Nas? And saluting Megan Thee Stallion say, oh, it looks like you're having fun. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. Share these videos. And I'm going to peep y'all on the next one. Holla.